Welcome back to Hannity. So as the chaos on our southern border rages out of control, the Obama administration is digging in their heels about the immigration crisis. So we decided that we wanted to hear from you, the hardworking, taxpaying citizens of this country. And to do so, we enlisted the help of pollster Frank Luntz. Now, he spoke with voters on both sides of the aisle to see what they thought about the influx of illegals coming into the United States. Take a look. Day after day, month after month, children have been coming across the Mexican border into Texas and has moved from a problem to a challenge to a crisis. Let's hear what the American people think. First question for you all. Should they have to go back? Who says yes? yes. yes. And who says no? I'm curious, why not? You know, Martin O'Malley said it best. If you send these kids back, you're sending them to their death. And we cannot be the country that is a beacon to bring people to us and at the same time deport children to murderers. You actually believe they're going to get killed? I, I believe that there's a risk of that. And if there's a risk of that, then we need to be the place that brings them in. You, you buy that? Sounds I don't like buy that. The problem is that if we keep allowing people to come in regardless of the age, they're affecting our economy, they're affecting our jobs eventually. And where does it end? Go ahead. They're coming here because they've heard they can get in here free, not because they're running away from crime and death. And I think if we reunite them with their families in their home country, they'll be better off. Does it make you angry that this is happening? I'm very angry. They should be back in their homeland, and they shouldn't have the ability to just send people, kids, into our country. We are a uh, country of laws. But aren't we a country of compassion? Yes. Yes. So, what, uh, Rosalie? We can have compassion. We can be humanitarian, and we can show the world that we can help those children that are sick, but then send them back to their homeland. You want them to go back. What should happen? I think that also you have to look at that. We've been doing a lot of asylum for a number of countries that we that have been beneficial for us. And fortunately, now it's backfiring on us. It, would we have the same feeling if this was Cuba? So how, well, actually, would we? Would you send the Cuban children back? No. Yes or no? Yes. No. So you wouldn't send the Cuban children back, but you're going to send Mexican, Guatemalan, El Salvadorian, Nicaraguan. Isn't that racist? Yes. It is racist. Tell me why. Because the Cubans have always been considered sort of a step above. We had a relationship with Cuba, we did not have one, and as a result, any time they come here, we, we've t taken them in gladly. But this is and a you're whole saying we shouldn't? I think that since we did it then, we should do it now. We are a nation of immigrants. We can't let the whole world come in here. We're a country of laws. we got to obey by the law. I think also the reason why we've taken in Cuba is because it was propaganda. So this, And also we have to look at as though a lot of Central America, a lot of the whole issues that are down there started from the U.S., a lot of those propped up so governments. So you blame America? Yes. Do any of you, anyone else here, blame America for these kids coming across the border. Anybody else? Go ahead. The American Congress has not acted on immigration reform. The Republicans are making money on it both ways. It's time for them to act, and they're going to play it to their best, to their benefit, to down um, Obama. That's, it's that simple. Okay, so let's end this on this final question. Who has a positive, I don't care whether you voted for him or you stand, who in this room believes that the president is handling this crisis on the Texas border effectively? Raise your hands. Not one of you. How many of you voted for Barack Obama in 08 or 12? I want to point that out. Not one of them gives Barack Obama an effective rating for what he's done on the border. This is pretty damning. Not just the issue, but what's happening in politics in Washington to deal with the issue. And coming up.